Welcome back guys to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you five tricks that you can use to help speed up your search engine optimization process. So for our very first tip, we're going to be using Google Bard to do keyword research and we are going to be using a specific strategy called the alphabet soup method. So this is gonna be our first prompt. Using the alphabet soup method, give me a list of 50 articles I need for how to bet on star. And essentially what it's going to be doing is swapping out the star for any other related keywords that people are actually searching for. Now the good thing about this method is that it also goes in line with the zero search volume. So in some cases there are articles out there that are getting searches, that are getting monthly visits. However, Ahrefs and SEMrush and other tools won't actually be picking up those articles. So this is gonna give us a really good list of articles that we should be uploading on our website. So Google Bard has just came back with our results, a beginner's guide on horse racing, football, basketball, baseball, golf betting, um, and we have got a lot of other related sports as well, such as boxing, snooker, esports, etc, etc. So this has literally just done our exact keyword research for a gambling website very quickly and we know exactly which pages to essentially write for our website. So that has been tip number one. So tip number two, again, we are going to be using Bard for this and we are going to be checking which backlinks are safe to acquire for our website and which backlinks are not safe to acquire for our website. So this is the prompt that we're gonna be using. Is it safe to get a backlink from thepennyhoarder.com? This is just a random website that I have found. I'm gonna hit enter and it is gonna come back with, yes, getting a backlink from the penny hoarder is considered to be safe and essentially it gives us a few bullet points as well as to how we should be looking to acquire a backlink from them. Now, let's actually take a look at a website that it deems as not safe. So, so this is another website. Is it safe to get a backlink from blogada.com? So this is what it has came back with. Is it safe to get a backlink from Blogada? Is a guest post platform that allows you to submit guest posts for a fee. Blogada is known for accepting low quality guest posts that are not relevant to the topics of the website they're submitted to. This can damage your website's reputation and negatively impact your search engine ranking. Um, and then it also goes into Blogada as a guest post blog network that allows websites to submit guest posts for a fee. Blogada is known for accepting low quality guest posts and Blogada is not a reputable source of backlinks as well. So very quickly, we've been able to identify if the website is a good website for a positive ranking factor or if it is a negative ranking factor. So this can be a quick check that you do prior to accepting any links Tip number three, with SEO changing every day, and also there's been so many algorithm updates, what you want to be doing is keeping on top of the actual SEO news, and the best way to do that is with Grok. So Grok, for anybody that doesn't know, is the AI that is built into Twitter. What you can very quickly do is ask it certain SEO related news and it will display it to you very, very easily. So this is the prompt that I will be using. Give me a list of five SEO related news that I need to know about in the past week. Click on enter and it will go and do its thing. So it has come back and the five news articles are these. Google's new Gemini. Google launched its new AI system. Google Groups drops. Google Groups has been seen a significant drop in rankings and visibility in Google search, possibly due to the changes in the Google algorithm. Parasite SEO changes. The SEO community has discussed the new approach to Parasite, which involves optimizing the content on a third party platform to rank higher in search results. Bing Deep Search and Copilot features. Bing has introduced a new Deep Search and Copilot features to enhance the search experience. Winter Blast Google update. Google rolled out a new update called the Winter Blast, which has caused significant fluctuations in search and rankings. So that has been the five news articles that's come back with, and all of them have been trending and they have also been talk worthy points within the SEO community. And all of those five bullet points that has come back with, they have been very trendy topics on Twitter and some trends you probably will want to actually do a little bit of deep dive into, such as the Winter Blast Google update, or potentially the Google New Gemini, and you can essentially do a little bit more digging yourself after you have had the snippets from Grok. So for our next tip, we are going to be using Adobe Firefly to create unique images that rank higher than duplicated images. So all I've just done is went on Amazon and I have just randomly picked a water bottle and we're gonna be creating this image as a unique image. So 
if you load up Firefly, click on generative fill and all we need to do is just upload our photo and with the power of AI we're going to be creating this as a unique image and all I'm going to do is just highlight around the image where I want essentially something there and very quickly we can turn this image into unique. So all I've done is I've just highlighted the bottom portion of this image and what I will be doing is adding in a table. So I'm just going to give this a prompt such as... So the prompt that I have used is just Oakwood table and I'm going to click on generate. Now once it has finished generating it will give us three different options that we can pick from. So it has just finished generating now what we're going to do is pick the best one. I think that this is probably the best one so far. However if you want to generate more you can obviously click the more button and it will continue generating. Now once you're happy with the actual image what you can then do is click keep and then I'm going to add in a few extra bits such as a skyline as well. So all I have done is I've just highlighted round the bottle and I'm going to search blue sky with clouds and I'm just going to search blue sky with clouds and I'm going to click on generate. So it has just finished generating the image, I have now selected the sky and potentially what I might also do is add in a jungle here just to make the image as crazy as possible. So that has just finished generating, I'm going to click keep and we now have a very unique image which is a bottle on a table with a jungle behind it and a skyline for whatever reason it looks quite cool but you do get the bigger picture you can essentially start generating your own unique images because we all know that google doesn't prefer the same duplicated stock image what it does prefer is new information so if you can make your images just that little bit more unique obviously it doesn't need to include a jungle and a skyline and an oak table with a bottle but if you can get a little bit creative with your actual images you will see the benefits from ranking images as well so for our final tip what we're going to be using is the help of google sheets and chat gbt now what i have done here is i've just picked two random websites that are ranking for best washing machines and we are going to be essentially extracting their subheadings and concatenating it into our own monster article so what I have done here is, as you can see on the left hand side, I have got the URL of the website and the same goes with the second website and I have just used import XML and then A1 and essentially Google Sheets is pulling in all of their subheadings onto this page. And basically what we're going to be doing is creating a monster article with their subheadings. So we don't need to essentially put in as much time and effort into which subheadings should be going on the page. So this is the prompt that I have used. My article is titled Best Washing Machines. I need you to combine my competitor's subheadings into one article removing any duplicates. And then I have done competitor one and I then done competitor two with all of the subheadings. And I'm just going to click enter and it's going to come back with all of the subheadings that I need. So it's just finished generating our article subheadings. So it's also done our product review as well. So we know exactly which washing machines that we need a review of on our website as well. So for example, the Samsung WF50. We, we need a specific page talking about that on our website. Now that we actually have our subheadings, what we can then do is put this into Surfer SEO or autoblogging.ai and essentially either generate it with AI or get our content writer to actually write the full article. So that has been my five SEO tips with AI. If you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like and also comment down below. And if you guys want a free SEO growth strategy, make certain to check out casualdash.com and fill out the contact form.